The question everyone has been waiting to be answered. Blockstrap or Plexity? Today, we're going to be diving in, giving a detailed comparison of two of the most popular Roblox third-party launchers. Both of them claim to boost your FPS and improve gameplay, but they do it in different ways. And if you're wondering which is better, this is the video for you. Now, if it helps, drop a like and subscribe, and we're just going to get straight into it. Firstly, Blockstrap. This launcher is an open source replacement for the Roblox Bootstrapper. It has tons of, tons of powerful features. It unlocks your FPS, so you can go beyond the default 60 FPS cap, which is obviously super important if you have a high refresh rate monitor. Most of us are not running 60 hertz these days. Blockstrap has a lot of customization features. They have custom pages, mod support for textures and sounds, and even a Discord rich presence integration, which is um, cool in some cases. Although these things don't particularly boost your FPS, although they do have manual management of Roblox fast flags. So like most launchers, there's a very good fast flag editor. If you don't know what fast flags are, they're basically hidden settings that can unlock performance tweaks but they do require a bit of knowledge to use. Of course, if you're just importing someone else's fast flags, it's quite easy, actually. It's like a click of a button and depend on the Blockstrap version you're using. They will still work today. And I think, actually, I need to mention that, that in the latest version of Blockstrap, I'm pretty sure they took them out entirely. So before everyone's commenting, actually, wait, there's no fast flag editor. There is, but in the, it's in the older version. You can still download it. If you want to know how to do that, join my Discord server and I'll help you guys out. And I've got also loads of fast flags in there. But moving on, some of the other benefits, you can launch multiple Roblox clients at the same time it's something called multi-instance gameplay or multi-instance uh launching and other than all of this blockstrap is just widely supported it's like maybe the biggest launcher it's a community favorite it's always updated and it is very very safe of all the launches it's like undoubtedly the most safe now, Plexity. What is Plexity? Plexity focuses on automated performance enhancement. So it makes it a little bit easier. It's then easier to, you know, make your game smoother and faster, especially for users that, you know, are not very experienced. One thing I love about Plexity is that there's an option to clean out your Roblox temp files. So all the unnecessary files and logs, which is really great at preventing lag, which is caused by all this clutter. It supports multi-thread rendering. So if you have a higher end CPU or even just any CPU over eight cores, this can lead to smoother gameplay and it ensures that all those cores on your CPU are being utilized. Plexity has a very simple UI, meaning it's super easy to navigate. Like the design of it is great. And there's a lot of automated optimizations, as I mentioned. This makes it great for beginners and anyone with really a lower end PC. The only downside is they don't offer a manual fast flag editor or channel switching. So although they do have presets for fast flags, you can't really tweak any of them in an advanced way. But for most of you, that probably doesn't matter. Before we go any further, how many of you have had awful internet lately? I don't know, maybe something to do with the change of season, you know, worsening weather, or just something to do with everyone being indoors right now. It doesn't help that game servers are super unreliable, but thankfully, I gave Exalag a try and it immediately solved my issue. Exalag is the best software for reducing ping and latency, which works by putting you on the closest sub server to ensure you are connected as close to the action as possible. Best thing is that it's free and works for every game with 1,200 servers across five continents. It's also super easy to set up and use. Just head over to the link in the description and click download. And to prove how legit this is, I'm going to download it here again with you. Super, super simple. You just press next, 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 install. Within literal seconds, we're ready to go. I need to find my game. I'm going to choose our region. It's going to do this automatically for us. And then it's going to analyze the routes and put us on the best route. Just like that. Now it's found them. We're going to press apply routes. And it's been applied successfully. That's it. We're done. Good to go. Lower ping. There's even a network analyzer. This is actually news to me. I'm going to run it here. This is basically going to check generally if I have any internet issues. And if there's anything I can improve outside of the game. All right, cool. Everything is looking good. And probably one of my favorite things this software has on top of the ping stuff is you can actually optimize your entire system. Yeah, they have one click system tweaks. This right here, reduce simple lag. Bang. Maximize performance of games. Bang. Keep all my CPU cores active to ensure maximum performance. Bang! I can even clean up my RAM here to get rid of unnecessary memory. So what are you waiting for? If you want a real and powerful game changer to reduce lagging games, honestly, it would be silly not to. Head over to my link down below. It's completely free to get started, but if you never want choppy gameplay again, exclusively for you guys, you can lock in a year of exit lag for less than the cost of a literal happy meal per month. So go ahead, use my link at the top of the description and enter code FETCH for an additional 50% off, exclusive to this video only. Now, let's talk about how these launches improve performance particularly. Now, I have touched on some of these points, but Blockstrap, manual fast start customization, gives you ability to fine tune settings, helps you really reach that max FPS, like completely maxing out everything essentially, which you can't do so much with Plexity because there's presets and it doesn't let you push as far. But of course, this requires more effort and understanding. Plexity, on the other hand, it's automated performance 
performance. So focuses on game loading, cleanup, CPU optimization, very minimal setup, but again, less granular control. People with high end hardware who want to experiment with different Roblox versions, you're probably going to benefit more from block straps flexibility. But if you have maybe a mid tier low end PC and you just want something very simple, you don't want to dive into configs and technical stuff. That's where Plexity comes in. Now to round this all off and to answer the question, which one is better for you? If I haven't already answered that already. What I recommend is if you want really high customization, you're interested in using mods potentially, and you want a more manual control of all these hidden settings, Blockstrap is where it's at. But if you prefer just a plug and play simple solution, that's basically the job for you and you're lazy or you just <laughs> don't know much. Plexity is going to give you probably the most simple, reliable performance gain, especially on those lower end system. And regardless of which one you use, you're going to have to set it up. So go onto my channel. I've made full videos setting up both programs and it's going to give you the best settings and also the best fast flags. Also join my discord. It's all in there anyway.